Washington hosts Utah, where the Utes are hoping that Kyle Whittingham and company can work a little Montlake magic, just like last year when they came in here and grabbed a win. It's the Pac-12 in primetime. In the Washington winning the toss, and they elected to defer. So Tim Horn will kick it away. And the fair catch for Utah. They will set themselves up at the 25-yard line to start things out. The Utes just one game on the season after several cancellations. They lost to USC last week. Ton of experience as a starter in the SEC from his days at South Carolina. They, too, will use their run game by committee. And the first carry is Jordan Wilmore. Deep ball and the one-handed grab down at the Washington 40-yard line by Brian Thompson. What an experienced throw this is right here by Bentley. Look at great protection up front and look where is the placement of this football. It's right out there for Thompson just to go out, reach out, one-handed, bring that ball in. Oh, yes. We'll drop it off underneath. And it's one of his favorite targets, Brant Keithy. I know you really like the two tight ends in our game tonight, Kurt. The pitch, they'll try the left side with Ty Jordan and a good collision. Pressure coming on Bentley. He eludes it, steps up in the pocket, breaking tackles and picking up the first down inside the 25. And what an effort for Jake Bentley. Sermon comes in right here unblocked. No one blocks him. He doesn't get the quarterback down. And Bentley just showing, understanding where the sticks are. Where do I need to get to? And that's relentless effort by a quarterback at Bentley picking up the first down. Josiah Bronson was the second guy that had a shot at him short of the yardage. And Bentley refused to go down first and ten. Devin Brumfield is the offset back. Kuitele, the redshirt freshman out of Honolulu. Boy, he's in the backfield again to blow that play up. And then cleaned up by Elijah Molden, the senior out of the back, who the coaching staff says is the rock star of this defense. He's the QB of the defense, but he got a lot of help on the last one. You mentioned Fatui Tuitele. If you don't block number 99, he's going to wreak havoc. Just a three-man pressure, but it's enough to get to Bentley, and the ball is out. And the Huskies force the turnover. Scooped up by Jackson Sermon. And it was the guy they call ZTF, Zion Tupaolo Fatui. He'll throw it on second and eight, and the slant across the 45. And they'll run it up the middle, and a first down for Kamari Pleasant. This is a strong group up front. Working out of the eye on first down. It's Pleasant again, trying to bounce to the outside. Lunges down inside the 40. Morris slings it incomplete. Three receivers to the strong side of the field here for Dylan Morris. Eludes the rush and throws an interception at the 25-yard line. And the Utes get one right back. Fabian Marks, the freshman from Richmond, Texas, gets it. And it's the first Morris miscue of the season. Utah has it now in Washington territory, and it's back to Bentley. The work under center, Wilmore tries the right side and wiggles his way down inside the 45. Wilmore's got it again, maybe a yard. 
that was Josiah Bronson. Third and six. Bentley out of the empty and going to come up short. Bentley stepping up, going to run for it, and he'll get it. Thought about the slide, takes a hit at the 34-yard line, and a fresh set of downs. And that's a good read right there from Bentley. The throw to the 31-yard line. inside the 20, and it's Keithy again. Bentley starting out five of six, 46 yards passing. Keithy already with three catches. And there he is, taking the handoff. Flag down as Keithy goes down around the 12 yard line. Offside, defense in the neutral zone. Washington that here. penalty is declined. Results of the play, second down. And now it's a first and short yardage off the left side and inside the 10 yard line. First and goal and breaking the plane and diving in for six for the Utes. Quarterback Jake Bentley and they cash in the turnover. That drive was all about Jake Bentley. Let's go back to the fourth down play again. Remember, using his legs, and this time, keeps his eyes downfield. Watch the quarterback's eyes. The entire time, he's trying to find someone. He buys just enough time, and he commits to the line of scrimmage. And once you get those shoulders square, of six through the air. He's already run four times. And Washington on the return will get out across the 25-yard line. Well, the first plan will be to keep it on the ground and Kamari Pleasant is bottled up. Looking left, and will drop it off underneath, and they will come up short, stopped at the 31-yard line. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There's the punt from the Washington 20. And the catch on the run, a dangerous one, and a big pop at the 35-yard line for Washington. And Taylor delivering the big hit. No, check that, it's MJ Tafisi, number 53. Yeah, I never wanted to be a punt returner. It's these reasons why, right? You're just catching the football and you're kind of in a blind spot for a second and then boom, it's outstanding hit there by Tafisi. That's a whole different mentality, isn't it, for the guys back there? I'm just excited he got his head across. That could have been a big collision. And here come the Utes now, first and 10. Bentley, again, stepping up and running with it. And Jake Bentley, not really known in South Carolina to use those legs, but he's That's been motoring the here through the first quarter for the Utes. <laughs> the surprise thus far, Jake Bentley has outrushed Washington. And Utah has controlled the time of possession, holding UW to just five minutes and nine plays through the first quarter. Try and run it again. And there is Bolden getting into the backfield. Cut down Brumfield, and that'll bring up a third down situation. With time. Shoestring catch is made, but it's short of the yard to gain. It's Ennis. That'll bring up fourth down. Let's make sure Ennis got the hands underneath it here. Yeah, I 
up the lead. Yeah. My vantage point up here looks like that's a catch, but again, great protection, but that's great defense. And Lennon taking care of the point Please. duties. And over end, and the fair catch immediately inside the 10 by McDuffie. Far. We're, we're seeing Sean McGrew now. We saw Kamari Pleasant in that first quarter. Four receivers here for Morris. Working against the four man rush, and it is almost intercepted again by Fabian Marks. Had it. And I'm not sure if he was looking at that green grass in front of him or not. He was thinking pick six all the way, and it's fourth down. Oh, man, he fooled Dylan Morris. You got to understand what they're doing. They're showing a cover three look defensively, and at the last second, they went to a cover two. He didn't see Fabian Marks right there squatting as a cover two corner. Marks just watched the eyes of Morris. He missed his opportunity. That should be an interception. That should be going the other way for a pick six, but disguising coverage so far, Utah, They've got the Dylan Morris, a redshirt freshman, guessing right now. That's what Donovan's telling them. Forcing the Washington punt. Covey this time with the fair catch at his own 40-yard line. Looks three drives, an interception, and a couple of punts for Washington. And again, the end around with their tight end, Keithy. Close to first down yardage. He's had it twice on those plays, and they'll pick up first down yardage and a whole lot more. Ty Jordan breaking tackles and fighting his way down inside the five. I want you to watch this offensive line, especially the left side. You got the first team preseason Pac-12 offensive lineman in Nick Ford, 55. And you got 51 Keaton Bills, the freshman. Watch 55 and 51. Look at the push. They're all the way downfield. And you let the true freshman, Ty Jordan, find a way. Jordan will get the call again, burrowing his way down to about the three. He'll get the carry inside the two. It's going to be third down and goal. They'll run it right. A good block and a touchdown. Devin Brumfield scores it. Ludwig with a key block, the fullback making a play. You can't draw it up any better if you're Utah. You get down inside the two yard line. It's supposed to be the Washington defense pushing that offensive line back. But Utah's offensive line, watch how many Utes are inside. Find the goal. They're getting great through blocks and if you're unblocked you go make the play that's one thing Morgan Scully defensive coordinator said we didn't take our shot enough last week if you see the play go make the play you're seeing a totally different use defense tonight and that was Devin Lloyd who's one of the alphas along with Mika Tafua the defensive lineman the two returning starters everyone else still getting to know one another 
after nine guys departed to the NFL. Morris checks it down. And the catch down inside the 40-yard line. That's Pleasant out of the backfield. They won't snap. They call timeout. Morris does take the snap. He throws the other way to Nakua. First down catch inside the 25 on the slant. Force the hand of the Utah Utes defense. He won a couple of dummy counts to see if they would change their coverage. They didn't. And he went with the for sure play, fourth down conversion. Quickly to the line and pleasant. Cameron Davis is now in at tailback for Washington, the third different guy we've seen here in the first half. And he'll take the pitch. Here comes the pressure. Morris looking to the end zone, back corner incomplete. And it's fourth down. Intended receiver was Terrell Bynum. Now, I'm happy to see Clark Phillips move on from last week. Look, your first game in college football, you go up against that outstanding group at USC. Peyton Henry, the kicker, is coming on. Fourth and five. It's a 35-yard attempt to try and get Washington on the board. And they come up to the line of scrimmage looking like a fake, trying to get the offsides drawn. And Utah stands firm. Delay of game, Washington. Remains fourth down. A little bit different than the uh, Cowboys on fourth down on Thursday, right? You go try to find a play on special teams to draw the defense offside. That's a good job by Utah, realizing the tricks, realizing those types of plays, staying pat, not jumping off sides. Now just a longer field goal for Washington. This one will be a 40-yarder. From my vantage point, Beth, I can tell you, it seems that extra five yards had something to do with wow. that one. If it was five yards closer, I think this football is through the uprights. Because many quarterbacks would panic in this situation. It's a low snap that's given to Bentley, but watch him gather himself, make a nice throw, and then Thompson climbs a ladder a little bit, goes up to go get it. An outstanding throw. Hopefully he's okay. He's still down on the field. On first and ten, the pass behind the intended receiver and incomplete. Backfield flags fly as the quarterback goes down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 58, contact to the passer's helmet area. It's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Brumfield alongside the quarterback. Bentley will step up. He'll run with it, gets a nice couple of blocks downfield, and dives inside the 15-yard line for a first down. If Washington is going to continue to rush like this from the outside, the ends are going way too far upfield. Billy's just taking what the defense gives them. You're going to rush wide outside. I'm going to step up. And he's finding open lanes, open windows. He's not trying to run for yards. He's just running to get what he can, doing an outstanding job. Jason Greenberg, one of our producers, gets the assist on that one. The throw to the corner of the end zone. And the touchdown catch is made. Brian Thompson, his first of the season. 
And then inside here, what an outstanding route by Brian Thompson. If you see what he did to the defense, it's basically go on the outside, fake outside, go inside, and a perfectly thrown ball from Jake Bentley. You talk about experience. He knew where to put that ball. He said, back pylon, go get it. Hit as he releases incomplete through the hands of Bynum. underneath first down to Ty Jones out to the 40-yard line Washington still with a couple of timeouts out of the backfield Kamari Pleasant stumbled and could not get out of bounds but he does pick up the first down to midfield Morris plenty of time incomplete down the sideline Bottom of your screen, Ty Jones has the size at 6'4 to win a 50-50 ball. Morris looking that way. Now we'll turn to his right instead. Pleasant out of bounds with five seconds on the clock. And what looks like the final play of the half. No, nope, they'll get one more and step out of bounds. Morris buying some time, and the heave will make it into the end zone and intercept it. Utah the other way, and a chance across midfield. And out of bounds to end the half. On the pick by Vaughn, and a collision on the sideline. Turn out across the 25 to about the 26 yard line. Bunch receivers to the right side. Morris across the middle, first down. And fighting for extra yardage is Cade Otten. Utah territory and another first down for Terrell Bynum. Morris gonna take a shot, got a man open inside the five, and it's caught by Bynum. First and goal, Huskies. Quick to the line, they'll run it right up the gut, and it's a touchdown, Washington. Utah disputing it, but Pleasant is in for six and a two-yard score. Stormy just said it, right? They're in a street fight now, and they got to start fighting back. And you start with that offensive line, and you start with the running game. This is what we talked about to start the show. He barely gets in there, but that ball touched the tip of that goal line. And if you're Washington, you couldn't ask for a better start to the second half.
Watch the linebackers. They back out. And Elijah Molden, been talking about him all game long. He undercuts the route. He gets and steps right in front of Britton Covey. And that play was just made by Elijah Molden. That's just the quarterback of the defense understanding the situation, being in phase, and stepping in front of a play. That's outstanding again by Elijah Molden. to midfield. Five carries, a couple of catches, 84 total yards for Ty tonight. He'll take the pitch, trying to get to the edge. Nothing doing. Second and 10 here with Brumfield now in a tailback. Bentley keeps. Taken down around the 45-yard line. It'll be third and five. They're going to run for it. The spin. And they're going to come up about a yard short. The keeper by Bentley did not get his feet underneath him. And he looks like he's come up short. A slip right from the start. Excellent push up front by Washington, and they take over on downs. Terrific push up front. They'll take over on downs. Morris, first down into Utah territory, down to the 35-yard line for KDOT. Personal foul, roughing the passer with targeting. Defense number 42. This will be a 15 yard penalty added to the end of the play. The play is now under replay review. After review, there is no foul for targeting. Number 42 of the defense can stay in the game. The 15 yard penalty for roughing the passer is still enforced. Play action to McGrew. Morris. Just like this. I want you to watch Kate Odden. He's on the left side, and he goes all the way across the field. The action takes the defenders one way. Trying to find a different way to win tonight for Washington. They've got Utah reeling right now. 2.49 to go in the third. Oh, 
Nice spin on the reception, and Utah has a first down from Brant Keithy, so both tight ends trying to pick it up. This is a big run from Ty Jordan for Utah down to the 25 yard line. Utah Lumea. And now it's Bentley. He'll check it down to his running back, Brumfield. Fights for some extra yardage to the 25. Nice cut to get down inside the 20 from Brumfield. 21-17. Here comes Utah trying to respond. They'll keep it on the ground. And the push inside the 15-yard line, and that'll move the chains. Fatui, he's there for the recovery, but it's an outstanding job by number two, Kyler Gordon. He's the corner. To take a lead in this game. Morris. make a play for him. He's been a star return man in the past for Utah. He's overcome a lot. This one will let go over his head and it will bound into the end zone. Out across the 30-yard line. Ty Jordan trying to bounce back from the fumble on the last possession. Gets close to midfield for the Utes. More on the ground, and Jordan gets across midfield. They're going to throw it. Bentley looking for Jordan. Hit short of the line to gain. Their defensive stud, they force the punt. And for the second time here in this fourth quarter, a chance for Washington to take the lead. And the spot First right now is at the 12 yard line. Receiving team number 21, blocking a player that was out of bounds. The penalty's half the distance to the goal. It'll be first down. Worst starting field position of the night for Washington. On their own six, they're down four with 8.20 to go. Trying to come all the way back from a 21-point deficit. They were down and shut out at the break and then came busting out of the locker room. 17 unanswered points in the third quarter. Hooping a coup, up, breaking a tackle. The stiff arm. And let's see where he stepped out. stepped out. He's got the first down yardage to the 19. Or will it be the young Utah defense trying to bow up with nine new starters in the lineup this year? The deep ball going over the top. A fight for it. And an interception. Utah heading the other way with the pick. Vontae Davis, the safety, somehow came out of there with it. We've got a flag down at the 40-yard line. I think that may be post-play. 
or after the interception. It's on Jachapmi. Well, Jach the ruling on the field is an interception. Yeah. During the interception return, illegal block in the back, defense number 92. It's a 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It'll be Utah's ball, first and 10. It was Broughton who had the yeah. coverage on Ty Jones. Uh, Tapui, Tapui uh, excuse me, Tupai. Is the guy who committed the foul. Beth, I love tips and overthrows. Defensive backs talk about it all the time. Tips and overthrows. And watch Jatavis Broughton. Doesn't give up on the play. He's beaten, but he recovers. And it's a hand in there. one more chance. I want you to watch 58, okay? He's on the right side. And watch him fight through a double team. It's not, this is what you call an effort set. He's got two guys. He fights right through them and then relentless to the quarterback. That's that's want to. That's a, being aggressive. And that's not quitting on a play. No double team is going to stop ZTF for the sack. Ben Lennon keeps it low and it's a runner. They don't want to return will be down inside the 15, a long way from home for Washington. Four point game, four and a half minutes to go. He's helped hand it over to the offense under four minutes to go. They've got their full complement of three timeouts. For a drive that started 88 yards away. And in need of seven, it's Bynum on the end around across the 25 first down and Will took a hit. Yeah. Or excuse me, Terrell. Nakua <laughs> threw his hands incomplete. Five catches, 76 yards, and a touchdown for Cade tonight. Lines up. That left end. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Hawari Pututau. Showing off that bird, Pututau, to 6'3", He's getting up, and a lot of times you won't get to the passer. You get us three steps. If you're not going to get there, get your hands up. Watch Pututau. Show that vertical. Show that vertical. The third down and long here. Utah showing the cover two shell. Will they bring pressure? I think they stay off. Morris checks at the line. He's got Pleasant offset in the backfield. Pressure coming right up the middle. It's picked up and a first down throw out across the 40 to Nakua. And again, it's Kamari Pleasant buying time for his quarterback. Have not had a rally like this since 1988. Just under three minutes to work with. Morris finds Nakua diving grab at the 45. Morris thrown across his body to find his man. Across midfield into Utah territory, approaching 210 now to play. Play action. Oh, right through the hands of Pleasant, who started to turn up field before he had it. Oh, wasn't expecting the snap. A little uncertainty, and he'll make something out of it as he finds Otten. Down to the 37. That could have been disastrous, and Morris quick to find the loose ball and make a play. you got to think quick. you got to be on your toes, and that time the ball's right there at his toes, right at his feet. Gets down, picks it up. 
and watch how calm he stays. Just calm, climbs the pocket, sees Ott the tight end, saves it to the next down. That's a good job by the quarterback, not panicking. It could have been a horrible situation. Looking at third and three. Clock rolling under a minute and a half. This one's Otten all the way. First down and out of bounds. Inside the 30-yard line. On the move, looking for the game winner. They'll run it pleasant to the 25. Morris, the check down, pleasant. Makes a man miss and out of bounds. Saves him a timeout right there. Not only saves him a timeout, but they get a fresh set of downs as well. Just making a guy miss. That's why Kamari Pleasant's in the game. He's the best blocker of the backs, but at 230 pounds, he's the most shiftiest of them all, the most elusive back of the trio at Washington that time. Making a guy miss. Clark and getting Phillips. out of bounds. Yeah. Got the rookie. Just great awareness, knows where he's at, and gets out of bounds. <laughs> From the 16, first and 10. Watch the tight end Ott down here at the bottom. All by himself. Morris looking that way. Scrambling. Fires. Caught. Otten. Touchdown, Washington. take the lead with 36 seconds to go and what a drive engineered by Dylan Morris 88 yards for the score to Otten if you're going to go for the go-ahead score to win this game you got to go to the tight end Otten he's the impact player for a reason he wanted him earlier in the down but when he extended the play got out of bounds Otten saw him and just kept going and gave him enough time Bought enough time to get the ball out there. You get it up, throw it up to the 6'5", 240 odd for a touchdown. 12 plays, 88 yards, just under four minutes, and the 16-yard score to Otten. And for Cade, eight catches, 108 yards and two touchdowns, and 24 unanswered points in the second half for Washington. <laughs> So the ball would have been at the 25-yard line because of the touchback, but they add the offsides penalty. So now the ball's at the 30-yard line. Less yardage to go to get in field goal range for Utah. So Jaden Redding has been the kicker all year. When we talked to Kyle Whittingham, he said probably good from about 48 or so. They have a longer kicker. Jordan Noyes, a freshman who has not kicked yet in a game. If they needed to try it longer, Bentley shifty on the catch and the chase is on to get out of bounds. Second and five. Bentley scrambles, looks downfield, incomplete. Intended for Enos. Third down and five from their own 35. Bentley, looking deep downfield. 50-50 ball and it's intercepted. Washington comes down with it. Trent McDuffie with the takeaway. And that should wrap it up for Washington and a remarkable comeback tonight in Husky Stadium. Those flags everywhere, but that's because of the participation. You get excited when you make a big play. The ruling on the field is an interception by Washington during the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct by multiple players on the field <laughs> against Washington. It'll be a 15-yard penalty, and it'll be Washington's ball, first and 10. The last time Washington overcame a 21-point halftime deficit was Cal in 1988. Just watch Trent McDuffie, though, number 22, the corner. 
All right, this almost turned into a last second desperation play for Jake Bentley. He just throws this up. But watch McDuffie stands his ground and gets to the highest point. He steals that ball away from Brant Keithy. That's an outstanding job by the sophomore out of St. John Bosco in California. Getting up, making the play. And that's an excited coach over there in Jimmy Lake. He talked about a first round fight that they didn't win in the first half. In the second half, his Huskies came out boxing. They came out fighting. They returned the answer to the ball.